Hi, everyone, and welcome back to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, where we're bringing the latest stories, trends, and innovations from our industry to you today live from the last and the final day of PTC 2024. I'm Barb Mitchell from JSA and joined by Catalin Badea, VP of Product Management for NetNumber. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, we were saying it's been a whirlwind. I know we saw you when you first arrived and now we've had, you know, several days. How's the show been for you? Great. We were happy to meet with uh, existing customers, potential customers. It's a great show. Yeah, so good, so busy. It's hard to believe that it's uh, already almost winding down. But um, let's dive right into it in terms of um, some of the things that we are hoping to talk about with you here today. I know that there are a lot of stories um, that are hitting the news these days about fraud uh, within telecom. And I think that um, from your position at NetNumber, I think you can you can talk to those. So, so tell us a little bit about what's going on and Sure. There are, there are many types of fraud going on in our industry, but two that are top of mind for our customers are artificially inflation of traffic and brand impersonation and account takeover by brand impersonation. In particular, the artificial inflation of traffic has been prob problematic and we, we already see uh, the, the negative events of this, uh, the negative effects of this type of fraud with many, uh, many, many customers uh, no longer using OTP uh, SMS for two-factor authentication and looking at other other mechanisms for that. Um, the good news is that there are uh, tools in, in in the industry for fighting these types of fraud, and we're offering some of these. Um, we what we provide is phone number intelligence, and this helps with identifying phone numbers that might be invalid, inactive, and fraudulent. Um, and we also offer services that help um, against brand impersonation. Uh, number lock. We've launched it recently um, uh, at the end of last year, and this can help customers. Um, prevent text enablement of phone numbers that are not used for texting and therefore uh, avoid um, uh, brand impersonation via this channel. Yeah, I mean, one of the, whenever I, th I believe whenever we're faced with complex problems in our industry, one of the most powerful things outside of innovations, which I think you can speak to, are, are the partnerships that that help to fast forward some solutions. So, can you talk? about both of those things, some innovations and, and partnerships? Sure, sure. Yeah, we're very much embedded in the ecosystem. We're working with with pretty much everyone in the mobile ecosystem. Um, I would say um, one, one of the recent examples of what we're doing here, um, we're always on the lookout for um, additional uh, data that helps our customers achieve their goals, in particular fraud prevention, which is, like I said, top of mind for many of them. And um, we've announced at the end of last year a partnership with WMC uh, Global. They are um, an established player in messaging fraud prevention. And with this partnership, uh, we're basically coming together, um, you know, put, putting together our different uh, tools and services that we have in order to help customers um, obtain more granular and more uh, uh, fresher uh, fraud prevention data. Right. Okay. And so as, as you start to think about, um, you're staying on top of this, but you also need to stay ahead of it. Right. And so what does that look like? I mean, you know, I keep saying it's, I, I one of the things I love about PTC is that it's in January. So we're, right. it's the start of the new year. Um, everyone's thinking about their plans for the year ahead. What, what's in store uh, for you all at NetNumber? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Product, product development is, is really important to us. Uh, we, we had uh, a few really important launches last year. We, we launched Number Check, our number verification service. We launched a number lock and number watch that helps customers with um, avoid brand impersonation and monitor their phone numbers against um, threats that happen in the ecosystem. So what you will see over the next um, weeks and over the year essentially is, uh, you know, the involvement of existing products, but also announcements on uh, new products that we're going to launch. Um, what we've also done recently, um, uh, a rebranding uh, exercise. So you've known us as NetNumber Global Data Services. We've uh, dropped the global data services from our name. We're doing much more than just uh, data. So we wanted this to be also reflected in our name. And um, we've also aligned um, some of the product names in our portfolio. So for those who knew our products as Numeri Check or Numeri View, we're changing this to Number Check, Number View, and so on. Right. Okay. And and so I know that again we were we were saying that the show's wrapping up in a in a couple hours and and so as you move forward into the year is there anything else anything else you want to share any parting words for us here yeah, I think fraud prevention continues to be um, uh, the, the 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 main topic in our industry. So we're very much looking forward uh, to work with the with the industry to uh, make it as difficult and as expensive for fraudsters. 
Yeah. Great. Catalin, thank you for joining us. It's been, it's nice. You know, we, as I said, we started the show chatting or ending the show chatting and we'll see you again, I'm sure uh, many times over the course of the year. And so thank you as always for, for taking the time to, to share what's happening with net number. We appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah. And thank you to our viewers, viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV. Enjoy the rest of the show. Happy networking.